Hi all, I am Divya Samakumar and in this video we are going to learn about bagging. Now, what exactly is bagging? Bagging is an ensemble learning technique. In my previous video, I have explained ensemble learning techniques with the steps. Ensemble learning is a machine learning technique that combines several base models in order to produce one optimal model. Now, let's deep dive into bagging. Bagging stands for bootstrap aggregation, which is a technique used to reduce the variance of predictions combining the results of multiple classifiers on different subsamples of the same data set. By looking at the definition, it kind of looks very difficult. But let's break down this definition. Let's understand the different parts of this definition. Let's understand how bagging works with the different different steps. First and foremost, what do we do? First, we split the data into multiple data sets. So we have our data set over here. We will use bootstrapping. In bootstrapping, we will use simple random sampling with replacement to divide our data into different different samples. We are using simple random sampling with replacement, which means that a data point could be chosen again and again in different different samples. Next step is Step 2. Build multiple machine learning model with each data set. So now we have first divided our data set into D1, D2, D3, D4, D5. Okay. Now, we are going to build a KNN model for the data set D1. We are going to build a logistic regression model for D2. We are going to build a SVM with linear kernel model for D3. We are going to build a decision tree model for D4. And we are going to build a SVM RBF kernel for D5. Remember that all these models are built parallelly. All these models have equal weights. Now, let's look at the third step. Now, third step says that combine the output and get one particular output. So, now we have found the output from KNN. We have found the output from logistic regression. We have found the output from SVM linear kernel. We have found the output from decision tree. We have found the output from SVM RBF kernel. Now, if we are dealing with a regression problem, we will take the mean. But here, if you observe, these are all classification problem. Hence, we will take the mode over here. Basically, the value which occurs the most number of times will be chosen over here. This way, our bagging algorithm works. It combines the output of all the different models and then gives an output which could be a mean in case of regression problem and it could be a mode in case of classification problem. I hope everyone has understood the steps involved in bagging. Thank you.